Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this brand's logo showcase on your website. So this is how it looks. We can see that the logos of the brands are displayed over here and we can drag to view the next logos or we can even click the next and the previous buttons. And then we also have this dot over here to go over to the next section of logos. So this is what we're going to add in our website. If you want to know how to design this from scratch, I have a video on that. I'll leave the link of the video in the description below. Alright, so let's get started. I have logged into my blogger website and uh, let's go to pages and uh, create a new page. So we'll click on this plus icon. Let's give a title to our page. So we'll just name it about us. Now, since we want to have some custom design, we need to add HTML code over here. So for that, you need to be in the HTML mode. So by default, it is in the compose mode. We can click on this button and we can see that this is the compose mode. And if you click on this button, once again, we can see it is in the HTML view. Now here we can write any HTML code we want. If you're using the older version of Blogger, then the HTML and the compose view will be right here on the left side. Alright, so let's go to our source code and uh, let's copy the HTML. The source code will be available in the description below, so you can just copy and paste. So I'll go to the logo showcase container and uh, I'll just copy this whole division from here. And uh, we'll paste it inside here. Now we can see that our code has been pasted over here in our blogger page. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to change the source of the image to the actual URL of the image. So we need to first upload the image and then add the URL of the image over here. So let's go to the compose mode. So click on this button called compose view. And we can see the image tags are being displayed over here. So let's click on one of these images and let's click on this button called insert image. And then we'll click on upload from computer. And we'll browse and we'll select our images. So this is our project. Let's go to images and uh, let's select the first image and click on open. Now we can see that our first image has been inserted, but uh, we need to make some changes in our HTML so that the image fits perfectly inside the IMG tag. So let's go to the HTML view and uh, here we can see we have the image tag and then we have one more image tag over here. So let's copy the URL of uh, this image. So we'll just copy this and uh, we'll paste it inside the source of our first image and then we can delete the rest of the code so we'll just delete from here before the end of the division now let's go to the compose mode and uh, we can see that the image is displayed correctly let's do that with all the other images i'll just fast forward this process So all the logos have been added. Now let's add the previous and the next arrows. So click on the first one and uh, we'll just upload from computer, browse and uh, select the left arrow. And in the same way, we will select the right arrow. So all the images have been added. Now let's go to the HTML mode and uh, correct all the HTML code. So we'll just basically copy the URL of the image and paste it inside the SRC of our IMG tag. And then just delete the rest of the code. We'll do that with all the images. Now the last two images are above our division. So this is our division class glider prev. So we will add the href from here and we'll paste it inside the src over here. And then we'll delete the code above this. 
and we'll do the same with the right arrow. Alright, all our images have been updated. Now the last three divisions that are the Glider Prev, Glider Next and Dots divisions should be outside the Logo Showcase division. So here we will first of all uh, end the Logo Showcase division. So I'll just type div over here. Alright, that's basically it with our page. Now let's go ahead and publish it. And the next thing we need to do is add our CSS and the JavaScript. So let's go back and uh, let's go to theme. Now here first of all we will add the CSS. So let's go to customize and then we'll go to advanced and then click on add CSS and uh, then we'll copy the CSS from our style.css file. So let's go to style.css and uh, we'll just copy everything and paste it over here and then click on apply to blog and then we'll go back to blogger and now we need to add the JavaScript. So let's go to this option button and uh, click on edit HTML. And first of all, we will add the link of our CSS and JavaScript. So let's go to our index.html and we'll copy this link from here. And we'll paste it over here inside the head tag. And then we also need to copy the link of the JavaScript. So what we'll do is we'll copy this whole thing from here, the script and the link of the JavaScript and uh, we'll go to the end of our theme code and uh, just before the body ends we'll copy this. So everything has been copied now let's save our theme. Alright our theme has been updated successfully now let's go back and uh, let's view our page and see whether it works all right. So let's click on view and uh, we can see that everything is working all right. Let's drag and see. Let's click on these buttons. So everything is working all right. So that's basically it for this video. This is how you add a logo showcase for your blogger website. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video, please click on the like button. Subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.